Hey, what's up, my Uplifting Life partners? This is Ron Simplified Myers. For those of you, this is the first time getting a chance to hear me speak. First, please let me say welcome. Thank you for the opportunity. I am the author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook, Get Rid of Your Problems, Not Your Partner. Now, today's topic, because uh, what I'm doing is I put together a series on the coronavirus, COVID-19, life lessons, things that you're able to learn during this time that people are actually in the home. And one of those happened to do with a topic that I discuss, and I usually get a lot of feedback, but I think the feedback will be very minimal now, if at all, because what I was sharing and what I teach is being validated. Now, not that I want any crisis to validate anything that I share and teach, but it has done that, and therefore I want to get people to see what I was getting to, because maybe they just didn't understand what I was saying in this crisis allows them the opportunity to, to get what I was actually teaching. And by that, I'm saying everything in life we do for one or two reasons, either to avoid pain or to gain pleasure. And people will tell me cheating, you know, it's just a, a man thing. It's just something that's in, uh, uh, in being a male. And it's something that we can't control. And it's just, and I've always shared that's garbage. That's people that's trying to justify their actions. That's people that don't want to take responsibility for their actions. See, that's where the conflict, where I, I come across different than a lot of the teaching. Because I said, cheating is a choice. It's not a man thing. It's a choice thing. Some people do it because they've been taught, like I was taught even in my younger years, I was taught to be the man. It's about how many women you could go to bed with. I was taught that. And it said, always keep the main woman on the side, but that's what made you the man, the more women you, you, you messed around with. So again, if you understand that we do things for one or two reasons, either to avoid pain or to gain pleasure, if all the programming that you're getting from men, and then there's women that will say, well, they're just being men, that's just the way men are. So if you're hearing all these different kind of programs, you start to buy into that, and you want to be the man. I, I know I went through that. I wanted to be the man. And so we're taught that's the way. So anyway... That means pleasure, it's going to be pleasurable if you're cheating. Why? Because you become the man. And you get to mess with all the different girls in the process. <laughs> that could be fun. So that equals pleasure. Then we get later on where people go, why won't men settle down? Men always thinking there's something better out there. Wait a minute. Let's back up. Let's rewind. If you've been programmed, sleeping around, makes you the man so therefore it equals pleasure that means being with one woman equals what pain we just said you do everything for one or two reasons either to avoid pain or to gain pleasure so if having many women equals pleasure having one equals pain who's gonna run towards pain now hopefully that analogy helps you understand why some guys have a hard time making the switch because you're telling him to give up the pleasure of all the all the many women and be committed and, and go to the pain of having one. See, the change actually takes place the moment that the gentleman and, and everything I teach, I believe it goes both ways. I'm not one of those who go men this, women that. To me, it's a human, it's a human thing because women cheat just as much as men. So... What you have to do is you have to change the thought process and it has to become more pleasure to be with the one person and painful to be with all the others. In other words, like for me, those that don't know my story, one of the things that helped make the shift in my relationship is I was going through that. Remember what I told you, trying to be the man. And uh, I had the main girl, which is the lady that became my wife. Now, at the time, you know, because I, I, I never told the women about each other why I was playing games. I was doing what I was taught. But she was my main one. But I had a dream. I call it the nightmare. I talk about that in my book. That I caught her cheating. I don't know who the guy is. I didn't stay in the nightmare long enough to find out. Because as soon as I walked in and busted her, I jumped up in the bed. I was like, my heart was beating fast. My shirt was wet because I was sweating. And I was like, Whew, man, you really care about this girl. And it had to be like midnight, one o'clock in the morning. 
I called her up. I was like, I love you. I love you. Folks, from that moment on, I had made the decision. No one and nothing will ever come between me and her. And that's the commitment I made. That's the lady I ended up marrying. That's the lady I was with for 32 years until I lost her to cancer. Uh, it's been almost six years now, for those of you who don't know the story. But the shift took place where it became so much pleasure, everything was in her. You guys see what I'm saying? Losing her would be painful to me. And there's no other woman in the world that was worth me losing her. You guys see the shift? That, become, that makes it very easy not to, quote unquote, cheat. Not to mess with other women. Why? I ain't doing nothing to jeopardize my marriage. And folks, that's the way I, 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 I looked at it. There was nothing that no one could say or do that would ever make me step outside my marriage. I was committed to my wife. So that's why for me, when we have this conversation, why I'm a person that it comes on deaf ears when people try to tell me why they cheat, what they cheated for. You're going to give me justifications for your actions because you're not willing to take responsibility for your actions. Now, I know you're going to say, well, my wife, she's not doing this or he's not doing that. And, and again, those are all justifications. If you guys can not come together and get that resolved, then you need to be, and I'm not talking about just the sexual, I'm just saying your relationship. First, you need to do everything you can to make that relationship work. And if you can't make that relationship work, then maybe you're better not being together. But cheating is not the answer. Never has been, never will be. I've always felt cheating. I, I, I used to say, and, and again, I don't know because at least I didn't know about it if it did happen. I've always said, and I had even said that to my wife at one time. I told her, if you ever step outside the marriage, make sure it's someone you want to be with. Because if I find out, there's not even negotiations. I'm not even going to try to understand. Now, I know for a lot of you to go, oh, man, that's strong, Ron. You can't be like that. For me, that would make me question our entire relationship. That, to me, is the ultimate betrayal. Ultimate betrayal. Uh, even biblically, that's the one that you can get divorced on. Obviously, that, that one is pretty powerful. So... Betrayal is real. And so for me, I had always said, no matter what, I would never. And I don't know. I still feel that I would be that way. And I wouldn't even want to talk about it. I don't want to just, we're done. But those, again, know me and my wife, know the relationship that we had. I don't know what would have happened. I'm glad I didn't have to have to test those waters. That's all I can say. It's because you never know. I've heard, you know, I've seen people that have, that, that have, that has occurred to them, and they fought, and uh, they look like they are, their marriage is, is incredible now uh, because they stayed together and they fought through that particular issue. And I'm not saying that I couldn't have. I was just saying I wasn't going to try to. But again, I was never in that position, so I didn't have to find out. Because we're all good for saying what we will or will not do, what we will and will not do until we're actually put in that position. So anyway, the cheating and the reason I'm, 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 I'm having this is because, again, with the COVID-19, with everybody staying in the house, there ain't a lot of cheating going on. Now, I know there's some people still doing it. I've had people tell me they got people at their job, some of the people that are still working, that they got people at their job who are both married and they're messing around. I'm like, man. In this time, in this crisis, when you should actually be appreciating those that are in your house and understanding the value that they bring, and you're stepping outside, wow. Um, I'm not going to even try to understand because I know people say, well, you just don't under." I wouldn't even try to understand that. That's, that's something, and maybe that's why it, it's something that I wouldn't cross that line because I'm not trying to understand it. I'm not trying to figure it out. To me, and that's what I told my wife before we got married, I'm only doing this one time. So 
if you're committed to fight through whatever the obstacles are, let's do this. But if you think that it's going to get tough, and when it gets tough, the door is an option, leaving the marriage is an option, then I'm not even interested in getting married. And she was in agreement because she felt the exact same way. And that's the reason that was never, we didn't even call, use the D word. That's what we called it, divorce. We called it the D word. We didn't even say it in our house. We'd be like, if you said divorce in front of us, we'd be like, oh, oh, why are you cussing at us? We ain't cussing at you. So we didn't even uh, play that game. So anyway, but back to the cheating. We're, 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 it's been proven because if it was something you couldn't stop, it would be like like a junkie, like, <laughs> I, I need to get out of the house. I, I need to go see some other one. Now, you ain't going to tell your partner that, but you're like, I need to get out and I need to go be with somebody else because I need a fix. I bet you most of these people are not sitting at home having withdrawals. And hopefully you're taking this time to actually, again, appreciate those that are in your house with you. So if you were one of those people that was cheating before, that you understand the value of those who are fighting this battle with you now, that when you do get the chance to go back outside, you have that same thought process as no one will ever come between the two of us. If you did it before, make sure it's all in your past. And from this point on, never should anybody else come between you and your partner. Make that commitment and understand, like I've always said about cheating, it's a choice. Take responsibility for your actions. Quit using excuses. Work on your relationship. And now is the best time uh, because you guys are in the house. Maybe do some, some things together. Videos like this. Other people's videos. Gather data. Talk to each other. Communicate. As you guys know, I said there's two keys to relationship. One is accepting people just as they are. And the other one is communication. And communication means listen. And understand where people are coming from. Because when number one, when I said accept them as, it are, as they are, it ain't your job to change people. So if you understand that, it's not my job to change you. But I want to go to number two. But I do want to understand you. Your relationship will be headed in an incredible direction. And as you guys know, it ain't right. It ain't wrong. It is my opinion. If you haven't had the opportunity to listen to my videos, run over to Ron's U channel. That's the letter U, ronsuchannel.com. Subscribe to the site. Give me feedback on the videos. Also, topics you'd like for me to talk on because I enjoy doing this. But just understand, this, and I'm sending out best wishes for you and your family that everybody is safe. Everybody is, is uh, making it through this, um, this tough time. But understand, your relationship is the most important, that person who's sitting in the house with you. Work through these challenges and come out of this on the other side and in a relationship that you never even thought was possible. And I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, forgot to tell you, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. <laughs> Again, talk to you later. Bye-bye.